Hi everybody. If you are new here, welcome. If you have been here before, welcome back. Thank you for stopping by to watch me again. Um, today I will do a flip through of my personal rings. Um, I don't want to say I finalized everything, but it looks better than it did earlier this week. So I just wanted to show everybody what I'm doing with my planner. So first off, these are personal rings and from the company called Moulterm. And I actually purchased these rings from Amazon. So when we... Oh, sorry, let me... There you go. just want to make sure I was in frame. Um, when we open, I first have this um, calendar from cloth and paper um, I know it was like a little stand-up calendar I didn't want it for that I didn't need it so I just cut it and put it here um, this is a printer card from my shop and I will link my shop below and this was a freebie from planning with K um, the little bow in here I have some the planner spot um, planner cards a coupon and the zipper uh, nothing. I usually don't keep anything in there. So when I first opened my planner, I created this little dashboard. Um, just says 2023 and um, just a cute little pictures. Not sure if anybody wants it, to be honest, but I can um, always post it um, on my website. Um, let me know. Just comment below and then i jump into my table of contents i need to scoot this more to the right um i printed it and for the video just wanted it to be on here but yep these are my sections so my monthly weekly daily uh trackers and lists family and then home self-care and finances so these two are my table of contents after that is this acetate for cloth and paper from cloth and paper and then just another dashboard that i created after this dashboard we jump into um my inbox so my inbox is from poi and hun um and then i just jot everything down basically here that i have to do then i have this coded inbox from plan with b um we changed um insurances and honestly it's a pain there's a lot of things that i have to do so i've been jotting them down here and then i have another coded inbox for stuff to do around the house um just stuff that i want to accomplish so it's a running list then i have a uh, another um printable from plan with b for to add to my planner don't have anything yet um but i will have some stuff soon this printable is from uh, Peanuts Planner Co. And it's a, let me scoot this so you guys can see. And it is a um, like fold out. On here I have pretty much added um, anniversaries, birthdays, holidays, events, days off and vacation days, and then a gardener day. So I have everything written on here. I don't have anything in the back just because um my dot markers did bleed through so that is that this is kind of like everything that's happening in the year that i know of um then we also have this fold out and it's also from uh peanuts planner co and on here i am writing stuff done that i have to finish by the end of the month um just for me to keep myself accountable so i started doing that this month we'll see how that goes um this i created it uh this dashboard and then this is a freebie from planning with b for 2023 holidays i um printed it and then printed her other floral printable on the back however i realized that it was upside down but i mean oh well i just left it like that um next um we jump into my dividers the first section is like the month is the monthly section these dividers are from amazon so i created this dashboard 
after that i have this card from the planner spot it was bigger i just cut it um to make it fit in here and then i have this printable from my minimal planner and i printed this on textured paper from amazon um this important date um printable um i had it on my old in my old planner um as kind of like a brain dump for 2023 so i just brought it in case i need uh, any information but i shouldn't because everything should be and the other one that i showed you guys this is a printable from my pl minimal planner um it's basically um the name of the month um then i jump into my monthlies from the noted co this is just a sticky i was on the phone i wrote it down and then put it on here um i've actually been keeping up with my monthly sometimes i don't and um i kind of just use my weeklies and my dailies but um i have and then we go and we have my minimal planner again dashboard and then we have the whole entire year in here which which does bulk up my planner usually i have like a month before and a month after so i'll probably just take these out um and store them somewhere then we jump into my weekly section um again i created this and then behind that i have this uh i think it's a thank you card from my minimal uh no from uh cloth and paper sorry and it just says a goal without a plan is just a wish so i thought it was cute and then we jump into this i designed this um i'm still in the um i guess just um i guess practice phase or trial phase um basically i wanted a visual of everything that we have going on um which my son has a haircut on thursday um my kids are both playing sports uh, they're po both playing basketball and my daughter's gonna start sophomore and my son wants me to find baseball so this is kind of like everything that we have to do in a week so i don't book anything um or double book anything um here i'm just keeping track of chores and we have no appointments we no notes and we have nothing to keep track over here if i do decide this is a functional planner um insert i will add it to my shop um so stay tuned for that and then we jump into my weeklies i've been using this weekly from etsy i don't know the name of the shop but um i just like it because it gives you an overview of everything like your top goals appointments to do shopping lists chores and then habit tracker so um track my chores here to do list um i have a separate shopping list so i don't use this i don't have any appointments this week but i have been tracking i haven't drank soda since the new year so been doing good with that i've been tracking if i keep up with chores and then um if i drink coffee in the back is just I how I pre-plan the week. Um, uh, my paper does ghost. Uh, the the dot markers do ghost. I don't mind it. Um, whatever. I just leave it like that. And then we have the previous week. This is a routine tracker that I created, and um, I used it last week. I'm not using it this week. Um, just wanted to keep keep up with my routine because it's a new year and I established a routine and then I haven't been keeping up with the menu but I do have it on a separate piece of paper um, I just have to import it in here but this is it keeps me accountable for cooking every day and not cooking the same meals over and over after that we have another weekly from last year I just kept it in here I don't know why but I will take that out then this little pocket plastic pocket is from daiso and in there we have uh planner cards from my minimal planner so we have appreciate each day and sleep well be well after that we have this plastic dashboard um with a post-it of just stuff going on with school for dailies and then we have this that i designed then I have my morning routine. I didn't realize this paper was yellow when I put it in the printer. This is a total fail because it's supposed to be light pink and now it looks peach. So I will definitely reprint that and then add it at a later time. 
Then we jump into our, my dailies. I've been using these dailies for the last two weeks from um, the same shop as a weekly. I don't know the name of it, but I have been keeping up. So these I like, they have um, space in the back. So I've been kind of writing every day. Um, just jotting down some thoughts. Um, I've been keeping it very minimal, no, not a lot of deco. Um, I felt like I was a little not in like a planner funk after like the holidays and I just couldn't get back into like the rhythm of things. So um, yeah, just decided to plan paper and pen, you know, back to basics. So these I have the two weeks, I will take, take them out as needed and then file them away. After that is my note section. Again, I um, I felt like I sound redundant, but I designed this. And then I have a list uh, for pantry and fridge inventory. I really need to go through my whole kitchen and um, just see what I have in the pantry and then in the fridge and then what I have in the freezer that we need to use up. So I just made this so it's here, so I do it. Um, and then I have an ongoing grocery list. When I remember I need something, I put it down on my notes on my phone and then I um, import it on here. And then if we buy something from the list, I just cross it off. Um, nothing too fancy. And then we're having a party. So just stuff that I have to do for the party. Then this list, um, I created it. I um, This is my Sunday reset. So it's just a list for me to go over every Sunday and then after that I have an office day checklist as many of you guys know I actually work from home but we are having uh, more office days um, more often now because we're eventually going to transition to going back so um, just stuff that I have to take and then I just look at it glance at it make sure I have everything and then after that, I have two watch lists from, these are printables from um, my minimal planner. So I have a Netflix, Hulu, Prime Video, and Disney Plus. Um, and then once I watch them, I put a little dot and then I read them. Um, yep. Yeah. Some of them, um, they're like series, series and I'm like in progress of watching it. And then comfort movies. I love watching The Notebook, Friends with Benefits, and All Strings Attached. I can watch those movies over and over and then obviously Gilmore Gilmore Girls and Friends um products to try if I see something that I want to try I just add it here so I saw an eye cream that way when I go and I am at the store I can um pull this out and then see if I want to buy something then for household um then for January I just swatched kind of like what I wanted what the color I picked a color scheme and then I just swatched like pens or markers that um I might be interested in using um after that is just black and blue pens um sometimes I want something like that's not too bold sometimes I want stuff that's like pens that are bold so um just a pen test and then I didn't have pieces of paper, a piece of paper in here. I don't know why, like a notes paper. So I just had to write the game schedule for my kids back here. So, and this is a Peanuts Planner Co. Um, I guess they have like all these inserts and I highlighted the ones I purchased so I don't purchase them again. And then I have freebies tracker. So these are just um, Instagrams that I... I get freebies from and then this was a winter break reset am routine youtube videos and eight habits for 2020 23 um it was just like a note page and then i have planner sizes for reference i was bored i did this and i just stuck it on there um this uh divider is blank still um so Nothing's like set in stone, so I might just label it something else. I created this that says, never be a prisoner of your past. It was just a lesson, not a life sentence. Again, I printed it on that ugly peach paper. Um, have to reprint it because it's pink, not peach. And then uh, daily gratitude from cloth and paper. In the back, I am just writing affirmations. And I have a list of 100 affirmations um, that I, I created. So.
So um, it's supposed to be front and back. My printer, I've had it, but I've been having printer issues. So um, I've been just printing single sided um, for now until I can get that resolved. Um, so yeah, if anybody's also interested in these, in the 100 affirmations, um, I can add those to my shop as well. A lot of stuff is coming to my shop. It's just I'm releasing stuff little by little. And then I jump into my trackers. Um, so this is like my personal tracker, like hair wash, um, hair treatment, face mask, the, what days I read. I want to read more than one day a month. So I have to really keep myself accountable. And it's nice to see a visual. I'm a visual person. And then like water, Starbucks, what days I don't drink soda and what days I post. This is my household. Um, so like chores. So just accountable that I keep up with my chores. On here, this is a printable from uh, Peanuts Planner Co. And this is a word a day. So just been giving myself one word every day. After that is sec section seven, um, self-care. Um, I created this also. And then we have a yearly mood tracker um, from a shop on YouTube. Or not YouTube, sorry, Etsy. Don't know the name of the shop, but it's this is really colorful not my favorite but i'm gonna stick to it because i said i would and then i have a period tracker that i created myself pink um i love pink as you can see my nails are pink my candle is well kind of pink um so just thought i'd incorporate pink into this and then i have a headache log i suffer from migraines thank god i haven't um i haven't had single headache uh so far in january cross my fingers that that states like that and then i have some goals personal family work and other um it's not too personal so i can share them uh, my personal it's take care of myself and put myself first um i feel like many moms put our kids first our husband our household so it's just a reminder to put myself first and it's okay when you know to take care of myself um for family i want to be more present and enjoy family time sometimes when we're like doing family time I am working or I'm on my phone so just a reminder and then make more memories I feel like my kids are getting older I have teenagers and um you know when they're not trying to get all emotional and gushy and mooey but when they're little we experience a lot of um first time like oh it's the first time we're doing this or it's the first time that we're doing that but I feel when they are transitioning to teenagers, a lot of it is like, oh, it's the last time we're going to do this or it's the last time we're going to do that. So I just want to keep keep really um, present and enjoy um, time with my kids and also um, make more memories. For work, I need to focus on um, improving the quality of my work and just keep organized. So it's just to keep to keep track of what I do and then to make sure that the quality of my work is, you know, is good. And then other, which it should have been family and personal. I need to have more day nights with my husband. Um, we're always doing stuff, but it hardly ever is stuff that, um, like, like a day night per se. So we just have to focus on that. And then um, that is for January. So every month I'll come by and I will revisit these. Um, I have an January ideal routine. So just stuff that I want to do like skin skincare, um, hygiene, drink my morning coffee, tidy up, plan for the day and my morning prayer. Um, also, I have the my ideal night routine and... Um, Pack lunches, again, self-care um, and um, hygiene and um, tidy up. So this printable is from my minimal planner. And then I have monthly affirmations. So it is um, just for January, this month will be productive. And every day is one step closer to my goal. Um so it has five spaces. I did two and I'm okay with that. And then my health goals for the month to drink more water, eat healthier, work out at least three times a week and then practice uh, more self-care. And I'm going to take a 
real quick pause and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Um, little interruption, but um, then I created this, printed out this quote, created this um, little quote. Um, I printed it on yellow paper, but I have to print it on white paper. And then um, self-care checklist, just different things, different ideas of um, just self-care. As I mentioned before, I want to really focus on myself and then self-care. Um, just self-care appointment trackers. I like to keep track of my nail appointments. So this one was the first one of the year. And this printable, um, both printables, a self-care checklist and then self-care appointment tracker are for my minimal planner. And then we have this little cute little printable for my minimal planner for New Year's and it's for goals. So work on my, uh, first goal is work on myself, make healthier choices, uh, make working out a priority. And I will continue. I have my goals written down somewhere else. I just have to um, import them. And then we have the reflection um, insert from pl uh, cloth and paper. So it's here, it's blank, but I put it here so I can use it. And then I have a um, note to myself from my minimal planner, just to jot down stuff. Sometimes they're, they printed kind of funny. These lines are supposed to be black, but they look red. My printer has been doing its own, it's been running its own show. But I put them on here just, um, sometimes I just need like some word to write something down real quick. And then I have some um, just notes of books and planner shops. Coffee orders. Um, I love Starbucks, but I always get the same thing. So I've been writing um, little recipes that I see um, on here. This is my minimal planner insert. And then this is a card, uh, my like a planner card for my shop. And then note to self, um, it's just a, mo a monthly laptop refresh um, little note. And then the next section is my home section. Um, and I created this, printed it on yellow paper and just put it here, but I have to reprint it. And it just says the carry this with you into 2023. Do the things you love more often. Let go of people or situations that drain you. Sometimes you need to get uncomfortable to get comfortable. What, uh, whether your attention, go wherever your attention goes, your energy flows. If you change your mindset, you change your life. So it's just like cute little motivation quotes, um, which I will reprint. And then my family section. I have um, this mom life. Um, this is a freebie um, on my shop. Um, so I just printed it on paper. I have game schedules for my kids. Um, so I have those there. There's schedule. I have appointments. And then I have um, sections which I can't show because it has names. And then this um, insert from my shop. It's um, kids like needs, they need to get, wants to get and wishes, which right now that I see this, my son needs jeans. Kids grow and um, like one day they'll, their stuff will fit the next, they won't. So the, I just have one for my daughter, one for my son. And then um, what, whenever like I, know that they need something i write it here and then um what they want to get sometimes they'll start telling me for my birthday this year i want or for you know i want so i put it there and then just a little wish list and then we jump to my dog dog section i created this little thing because it looks like her and um it's a little picture of her and then this planner card that says i'm doing dog mom shit and then i have pet information and then I have an appointment log for her, for her, like her vet. And then we have a grooming log. We take her to the groomers. This was last year. I just brought it in for reference. Um, but I will start a brand new one this year. Um, as you can see, it's this one's been like used and abused. So just brought it for reference. And then um, that's like my family section. I want to put something in between here, like to divide between family and home. So I am in the process of, I want a new couch. So I am um, 
putting these these stuff in this sheet which I created which is measurements so I know when I'm shopping around for it that exactly what I like what measurements I need and then a nightstand and then um I'm using this insert from the planner spot uh, more like a the last time that I so um I just changed the toothbrushes and I am going to change the sheets this month or this week sorry and then a shower loofahs I don't know how to spell loofahs and I have my phone so I just put sponges and then change air fresheners um I left a blank one here because there's like a lot of stuff that I want to track like the last time that I ever did that so then we go into a service log this is from I think peanuts planner co so it's just for our cars um like when the last time we got them serviced this is a um this is a insert from the Pe uh, peanuts planner co and um stuff that need, like i do every week um by day um i don't know what like i don't know exactly what to do with it but i put it in here and i just started writing stuff down see how that goes and then we have another one with the month um i'm just jotting personal stuff from my home here and then responsibility log i um don't know what this is and why it's here but it's here so um sometimes i do things i don't remember but then they come back so i'm putting that there and leaving it there and then at the end are my finances um this is a I created this I'm not gonna show my finances of course um, back here I have um, my finances my savings tracker um, a gift list um, two of them from plan with B and I think this one's from peanuts planner Co. and then cards to send um, and to order log so that is back there and then I have another little um, what is this like a little pouch and I have the stickies that um some are not sticky some planner dots and drops that I was using I didn't want to lose them because I wanted to keep it consistent to the same color so I just left them here so I can use them and then at the very back is a page lifter with a post or a sticky note that I used I no longer needed I didn't want to throw it away I I'm gonna put all my old uh, sticky notes on here just to see what it looks like and then um, some planner cards from cloth and paper and then I believe this is from the planner spot there's nothing else in here as you can see my planner is starting to look a little full I was complaining last week because it was looking very boring and um, very very um, skinny but I don't like my planner to bulk up too much. I like to be able to open my rings um, and it's getting past the point of no return. So I think I will be taking out like all these monthlies that, you know, I don't need like monthlies all the way to next December. So that is it for now. I will keep you guys posted if anything does change. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video, comment, um, and subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions, please reach reach out. I will link down um, my socials down below so you can keep in contact with me. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.